everyone, this is Michelle with Purposeful Happiness. I have a fun journal to show you today. This is the Hocus Pocus journal, and it is a soft cover journal, and it has five signatures in it, and a full cover made out of burlap, cotton, vinyl, and then a button spine. So let me just take a look at, here's some sequins. I just did a little bit of fabric trimming and same back here, there's some beads with some sequins coming out of the cauldron. This is just made out of coffee stained cotton. And then of course a little emblem. So we'll get right into this journal. There are a ton of beads and elements. I think when you're working with Hocus Pocus or something like that, it's much more fun to add these type of elements because they're very whimsical. So it's a ribbon closure and it is just sewn in between the two. And so that's what we have here. And it just pulls out like that. So inside I did a basic muslin piece and it has just a little bit of a garment pin with some ephemera attached. And then the lace pops up and here is a picture pin and a pocket inside of this front cover. And then so we'll just put it all back together. So this journal has five signatures and a whole bunch of decorative elements. Almost all of this can be taken off and then it will travel easily, no big deal. So here we just have a potion bottle attached to a clip. And then on the inside, we have some ephemera. And if I turn the page, that clip was holding these two pieces together. So this is just another journaling card, then some flip outs. And with these flip outs, you can either journal on them, add pictures, kind of whatever you would like. And then there's a Tim Holtz watching and waiting. And we'll just put this clip back on. Make it easy. There we go. So here's a digital print that I had. And so then I added just through the empty rooms for this page. I left a lot of empty journaling space on here. And here is a tea dyed paper. And what I did is I folded it to get these lines so that we could have um, some writing space that would have structure. Fabric tabs, another flip, and then here is another coffee dyed paper, ledger paper. And then here is just some fabric pieces and I left the strings because this is a whimsical journal. Here's another tea stained paper. And there is also a bookmark that goes in with this. And so basically it can just go to any page and move around. So we can set that, well, we'll just put it back. Um, inside of this also with the tie is charms tied to the binding thread. And additional fabric sewn onto it. So, as you can see, even though it's full of elements, there's plenty of places to write. Here is a fairy leaf. Let me just open it up. There are little tuck notes in here. Let me just fold it back in. And we'll put it back together. So, the other side of that journal or ledger page, some more paper. So here is just a little tuck spot and some ephemera and then just another journal card. And then here is just a little tuck pocket with a flip. Here's the other side of that paper with the tea stain. And this is a piece of cardstock that's the back of the signature. And what I did is I took some embossing powder and some stamps and created this distressed inside edge. And you can see it's on both sides. 
So that's what this signature is. And then here we have another charm. Can't have enough crystals or crystal balls when you're working with Hocus Pocus. And so here is a, another signature. This is cardstock. And I did the same thing again. I came in and I did some embossing, inking, some journal pages that are blank. Here is just a painted piece of fabric. And here we have a pocket. So this page here has some trim on it. And then if we pull this out, it is a journaling space with some unexpected pieces to it. So then this will go back and then it would tuck right back into that pocket. So this is the center of the signature and this is the apothecary because if you notice, this is the Hocus Pocus Apothecary. So that's why I included this page. And again, the trim flows through it. There's another charm attached to that. And if we flip this, there is a pocket with some vintage lace and there are some journaling cards, a Poe image, And of course, this happens every time you're on camera. Putting everything back in is more difficult. And then this just has a little paper clip so that the image can come and go. Oops, like that. And we'll just tuck it back in. And here, because this is more of an herbal, like apothecary signature, I included some whimsical mushroom drawings, but really it can be a journaling card. And I wanted kind of a vintage sketchbook look like somebody is walking in the woods and need to sketch out something. So there's just a mini paper clip to hold it in. And some blank journaling pages. And you really can't have a witchy book without a Harry Potter book page. So that's what this is more journaling pages. And here is the inside of this where there's some embossing powder and inking here. And then here is just a paper clip, altered paper clip so it just slides right on. Set that there. And if you turn the page, this is a journaling space. And tucked into it is just another card. As you can tell, it says elixir and potions because this is, like I said, the apothecary page. And this just pops in like so. Here is the third signature. It's also cardstock, pretty heavy duty. And another digital print. Here's our second tab with some tea dyed paper. And we have another fairy leaf the same as the other and then here's just some embossing powder and same thing you can put whatever you want in here I could put maybe I'll just put in you know something like that and it'll just tuck in like so I could just hang it off of this page and it would be fine once the book is closed but we'll go ahead and put it back together And here is another slide, just a flip. It's the center of the signature with some fabric. And this is just a little tab holding this witch's broom. So we can just turn the page. And like I said, all of this can be removed, so it's not um, an issue. So here is just a Tim Holtz die cut with a little bit of fabric tag. Here are some coffee stained papers, and I really like how this black speckled page turned out when I was dyeing the papers. Some ledger paper. And then here we have another bead pop in. So this is the page where we're having tea. There's some die cuts and then I use some foundries wax to create this uh, look here. And then here's the tea pouring in. And we have a little bit of the copper foil attached. And then of course our tea bag 
and another piece of cardstock and a little bit of stitching in some of the book just decorative stitching so here is a cabinet card that I made for this journal I'll just put her back so you can journal you can make leave it in as is take it out so when I turn the page I have another cabinet card with the twins and it's a flip too so you can take these out and journal do something else with it so it's all blank right there I will put it down a little further so then this page is also open here is a piece of ribbon and it's just using an eyelet and I tied the purple crystal to this ribbon Here's another page, just a little flower, or I mean spider uh, press, press and peel or stick from Tim Holtz. Some journaling pages, some lined pages. And here's just some ribbon with a little bit of fibers attached. And I ran that across both pages, as you can see. Here is a receipt. Boots and Shoes, 1914. Of course, you wouldn't have a witch's journal without some Boots and Shoes receipt. Here's another crystal ball type bead. So that's just attached there. More journaling pages. Like I said, there's plenty of space to journal here and that was the intent. And some more fabric. And here is just the Tim Holtz doll cut out with a flip. And this is just done with um, some watercolor paint. That's what the purple is from. And then we get to the last signature and you have some cameos here, some lace that's attached. And on that lace is a garment pin and then a fabric tassel. And these this bead is made from a book page, so this is all handmade here. You flip it over, and it can be taken out as well. So here we have just a pocket, and inside the pocket we have a bunch of journaling cards. So there's some dictionary pages on the back here and an eye chart. Here is a Pottage's Cauldron journal card. Another journaling card. Put this back as we go. Then here's just a Harry Potter envelope that I folded and stained with some Distress Oxide. And we'll just put that receipt back in. So this has a little bit of fabric trim up at the top, if you can see, and another piece sewn in. Some copy stained pic uh, paper. And then here is some alcohol stained lace. So that's what this is attached to. This is cardstock. And if we come in, we have a little bit of the Harry Potter pieces. We have the Flying Ford newspaper. And we have a Swamp Witch with some sewing around it. Of course, we have the Quibbler Harry Potter, a palm reading card for reference, and Gringotts Bank, of course. And here we just have an inside um, small black piece of paper. These are just printed tickets. And again, that black speckling on the tea dye paper. You can see it kind of throughout. There's some here. And here is the other side of that pocket. There's some Tim Holtz ephemera here. And then this is just all journaling cards, blank on the back. Same here, another picture of Gringotts Bank and then Magical Theory, but I left it empty for a journaling space. Some burlap. And here is the other side of that printed paper. And our last tab on the top, our tea dye paper, here is a vintage illustration from a fairy tales book. 
I just love the way that witch looks in this picture with the cat. And then you have her getting some cider. So here is the other side of the pocket. We have some witchy shoes. And of course a Dumbledore postcard. And a little bit of ephemera here. In the dictionary page I kept uh, this side here, this little embellishment for the dictionary. And then we get to the very end of the journal and the back has the same thing. There is a lace piece that cuts across. This can be taken out, written on, kept in. You can put more bulb pins in here. But inside of here, I have, if you lift it, it says handmade for you and it's just on a uh, muslin piece. And inside of this fabric part, another journaling card. And then that just tucks all back in here. So this journal really was meant to be used and filled and played with. And that is what we have for the Hocus Pocus journal. As you can see, it's a chunky journal with a whole bunch of pieces in it. And I can't wait to send this over to the ladies who purchased it. So that'll be exciting. So thank you for watching and I appreciate your time. Please leave a comment if you have any questions on materials we used or anything else you would like to know about this journal. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.